What's up, people? Where is the dashboard? Yeah. Okay. It's the second game. It's the second game of the night between Syndicate and 1KS. Mm -hmm. Here's up. Right now, Syndicate is 2-2, while 1KS is currently... Let me start standing. That's 1-0, I think, right? They've only played one game. 2-0. Oh, they're 2-0. They've played two games. Okay. Yeah. G. Okay, we're just waiting for the game to start. Ah. Hmm? I think fiber yung problema nung ano nung vein nila. Kasi sa kasi hindi mapag-play ng ano ng uh, consistent. Like it gets fiber really bad daw. Like kanin ngayon fiber ata sa I'm fiber. What happens if I get fiber then I'm streaming? We have to restart. <laughs> I just realized that if I get fiber, you get fiber even while spectating. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure actually. Yesterday, pala I was part of the game, no? so it's not Yeah. I think it's not a spectate. Yeah, okay. That would suck if it happens to spectate. They're proud. We used to slide up against okay. the stream. Smiley face, smiley yep, face. Yep, the stream is on. Uh, we have a new caster. We, uh, we have a guest caster, Suzanne. Oh, okay. yes. Yeah. I like this. Girls are cool. Girls are cool. Isn't it a bad idea to start the stream before the game has started? <laughs> well, because because they said they said G and then apparently no. On the on the side note, um, I just posted to Modus a picture of Nian from Team Fusion and Modus totally looks like Nian from Team Fusion. <laughs> a bit like well, to be fair, Nian looks like a lot of people. I wish I will. I will send you a picture, a screen cap, and you're like, oh my gosh, it looks like Modus. Who is that handsome devil? Not you, that's for sure. <laughs> Burn. Oh shit, we never to the ones Okay, we're talking about that oh. stuff on stream. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should cut the stream for the moment, and then we continue it when the game is actually started. Or let's just talk about life. So, uh, so guys, uh, any viewers, any viewers out there reading this manga, Shofugeki no Soma, pretty good, pretty good, <laughs> pretty good, pretty damn good. No, it's about food. Let's not go there, man. It's about food, yes, pretty good. <laughs> food and orgasm. <laughs> Kyle, what happens when they eat the food? They think huh. it's tasty. They, they... It's good. They go into... Do they explode? Ecstasy. Oh my god. They like, make a random... Oh right, wow. Expression. Lotus is me and Tonso. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think the game... Is the game about to start? Okay, so we dead. Start anytime. Okay, I think we're about okay. to start. Okay, here we okay. go. Here, here we, we go. go. Here's the chap so. Uh, the first ban of Morgana came yep. from Team Syndicate. Yeah, that's that's a target ban to Fear and Hall because yeah. the current the support of one KS is pretty good Morgana. Mm-hmm. And they banned Nunu. Okay. They were watching the game a while ago, probably. Mm -hmm. Where did everyone huh. go? <laughs> they, ban, they, ban, they banned Rikos. They banned, they banned Rikos Ari. Ari. I don't know who the Nautilus ban is though. Probably for Zera. Considering that it's either Terry or Zera. So that's the only main support in that team. I've never... Actually, oh wait, Zera I... is the support? Is it I, not? I, Ty I know Tyrone is their support, right? I check his. I check his um main account. His top two oh. picks are I uh, know, Bard, Nautilus, and I'm checking. Oh, sorry, no, Bard and Fresh. I don't know who the Nautilus ban is for though. I, I feel like the Nunu ban is pretty questionable since we've seen in previous games the Nunu hasn't really been that big of a threat. Ah. Uh -huh. 
the syndicate syndicate took away Shajani I was the first pick. I can't see Zerak in any of the match history of syndicate. No, no, no. I feel like uh, Zerak is a secondary account. It's not the SNI. Oh, what's his, what's his main account? No, no, it is main account. It's no, then there's he's I, a support main talaga. Yeah, I can see his match history. Okay, but he's never played on their team, so he's a I'm he's not, a not substitute, sure probably. Yeah, he's a substitute, um, he's but only I'm not sure. Maybe once he played against Motos' team. This was their lineup against Motos' team, actually. But I forgot what what his role was at that at the game. Who is their top name? I'm not sure. I think it, I think support, Zarek right? went top lane while Imperia went bot lane. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because Tyrone I know is their legit supporter. I doubt they would sub him out. So yeah, um, top um, top the first rotation for purple team. They're mostly comfort picks. Pat um, Arthur Patrick is known for his aggressive hacker in early game. Mm-hmm. While Fern Hall, when Morgana's taking away, he normally falls down to that pick. Hacker is a really good pick. And there's the brawl. There's the brawl. There's the brawl. That's, that's the that's that's the comfort pick, pick that's for the pick. Like when it's not bad, this is what it goes to. Although they opened Sejuani for this game. Mm-hmm. What will purple team pick? The thing with the Nunu ban is that it's, well, it's a open. semi-deferent towards the whole Juggermaw thing that they've just, kind of been Just so you know, guys, um, Oriana's open. Oriana's or open. purple team. That's rare. Yeah, true. They, they, they chose to ban Katarina and Ari and not Oriana. Are they choosing... Oh, Keith is using Kalista. He's not Keith. bringing. Oh wait, no. he's just Jinx. Is he gonna bring? I Jinx wonder up? why. I think oh. Keith is. is uh, Keith realized that he can't really play really passive this game, and he might actually go for a more aggressive playstyle. Given the more aggressive pick, probably predicting a Vayne pick. That's why the Jinx pick has come up. Yeah, but they do know that uh, the the former Vayne is not in this game though. It's a it's a pretty new lineup compared to the it's a new one. lineup, so they can't rely on that <laughs> from the previous game. Although I'm still surprised they let Oriana through and ban Katarina instead of it. No, I that may probably I... be because Rico hasn't been able to play Oriana recently since it's usually banned. And so that has been left open for this game. Yeah, but it, it, it speaks to the lack of research the NAD team does. If they're gonna pick the LeBlanc, Rico can go with the Oriana pick here. Yeah. I, I think he should definitely go with Oriana. Especially with Tessa going back to Omumu. It was their it was their quote unquote happy meal lane that they were known for. Let's just hope that synergy is there since I don't think they practice Omumu Oriana in a while. Considering that they expect the Oriana to be banned a lot. So they're going to clash team fights here. They're both yeah. going for team fight comps actually, a Sivir Mao Kai Sejuani. And then the LeBlanc will be picking off targets. The LeBlanc is pretty good actually. You can pick off yeah, the, the, mid, the Syndicate's mid is actually pretty good. It's yeah. pretty consistent. I just want to know who'd go Severe, who'd go Maokai in his comp. Who would uh, who would use? Mm-hmm. Who would go Severe, who'd go Maokai? Because mm-hmm. I mean, it's a totally new comp. I'm pretty sure Imperia is going to play the Severe. Unless Zerak also plays ADR. And they left the mid they left the mid pick open. So if they really want to go with a team fight, Oriana would still be okay. Because you, yeah. you have a Mumu and yeah, there's there's the Oriana. Yeah, you have a even even high frame could set for Oriana. Yeah. There's a lot to deliver the ball. Oh, are you <laughs> switching Huh, oh, the jungler is now going to top lane. And their and their new guys going to the jungle. Oh, their new guys. Well, Imperia good. has played ADR before, hasn't he? Yeah, he was the ADR during their game against Motus. First game of this, one well, of the first games of the series, of the tournament was them against Motus' team. I'm so surprised though. It's been a while since we saw Rico or Yana. It's surprising to see that Tessa and Rico have both secured comfort picks. Um, but, rather Guinevere and Merlin. Yeah. But then the Mumu was never really a heavy ban. Like even before. She normally favor Malphite, Sedge, Ratsai. But see I guess with seeing Oriana not ban. 
Um, I don't think Syndicate knows that Rika like, plays Oriana a lot. Yeah, it's... Because their, their bands are based on the recent match history. Rika's yes. been spamming Ari and yeah. uh, Katarina. So, comp-wise. So, comp-wise, so, guys. Who do you think has the edge here? Comp-wise? Um, I like the comp of uh, Blue Team more. Yeah. With the comp similar. alone, I'll go with Blue Team. Because they, they, have, they have three front lines for the Saber and the Blanc. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is a different jungler than last game, yeah. so you can't, we can't really, really, we can't really predict tell. how that's going to go. Hmm. Well, Purple Team, Jinx will pretty much be left to fend on her own. Mm-hmm. And uh, Hecarim's going to try diving the Saber, but I don't see that happening with how much It's PL. Saber, yeah, she has, she has so much feel. Hmm. I have to give it a lot to the mid lane, like the Blanc versus Oriana, considering that if they have blue side of three tanks. If the Blanc gets going, it's really yeah. bad. Yeah. It's pretty bad if the Blanc gets going. Like, they have so many big guys to just block the Jinx won't have any way. Jinx won't have any way of um, fending for herself in front of, in front of a fed the Blanc. Mm-hmm. Like, she'll just get one shot and you know, Rico, Rico could survive it, but then he has to, he has to get key shockwaves in the mm-hmm. steam fights. Objective control, I still give it to blue side. But that um, purple side has a higher damage output, I guess, with, uh, with a Jinx as their ADR and a Jinx will scale lane. harder than the silver, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think what's, what's going to happen in this game, actually, is given that bot lane is pretty squishy and you have a LeBlanc, you're going to see LeBlanc rotate the bot lane, and that's probably going to be a really big. That, that's a good point. That's a, that's a really good point. Um, LeBlanc game, has so much more mobility than Oriana does. Mm-hmm. Last game, um, on his Kashapia, he actually roamed a lot quicker and a lot more decisively mm-hmm. compared to the uh, compared to the Morgana that game, which kind of kind which also kind of tells the bot centric nature of the team comps to make it pulls out for. But it might be new one since it's a pretty new team then with a new roster mm-hmm. with certain mm-hmm. roster changes. I'm interested how this will play out because they're both really bot heavy with their ganks, both teams. So it's either gonna be a bloodbath in bot or no one's ever gonna die, but they're just gonna be so low all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and actually a LeBlanc is pretty hard to gank. So LeBlanc is hard to gank, especially considering yeah. she's using a Mumu. A Mumu Oriana won't really be able to catch the LeBlanc ever. Unless LeBlanc gets herself in a position yeah. that, mm-hmm. that would lead to her demise. But uh, other than that, I don't see... Okay, you know, know, like... I'm all pick, trying to pick up the Mumu just press his ult when you're just standing there. Uh, and uh, a Mumu with the night theme really go, <laughs> really, really one, push one night stand. Really pushing that theme. theme, the theme. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, uh, I think for this game, um, Syndicate, Syndicate's game plan should be like treating the carries. They have three tanks. If 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 the two carries manage to dish out the damage that the team needs, mm-hmm. they, they'll be cleaning up the fight pretty fast. Although Jinx is a hyper carry that yeah. will shred anyone late game. Um, it's so, for the team comp of 1KS, one I said, it's yeah. really hard to feel for Jinx. Yeah, there's really not much feel for the Jinx. So she'll be very reliant no, on I, surviving on her own. While the Sivir is really well you know, protected. Would have been better on um, One Night Stand's team. On One Night Stand, no. Yeah. yeah, and the hacker would have been better on Blue Side's team. True. I guess yeah. that's. I guess they kind of stole each other's top lanes mm-hmm. in this game. They denied it from each other. Mm-hmm. Well, the, yeah. fir- the first pick hacker did come from the purple side. Yeah, I know, but I mean, that's, that's, that's probably because they have high priority on the Hecarim, because yeah. Hecarim's really Hecarim's strong right now. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's really strong right now. Because 
the ability to to delete the delete the ADR, yeah. And even Silver can't outrun the Hecarim. Yeah. Okay, my guy can easily stop the Hecarim. Yeah. yeah. If, if he positions himself well, he could easily As, stop the Hecarim. Well, Maokai Mau and Braum actually can they can really shut so down the Hecarim and Gate. At least, at least yes. you can even stop it. They can really body if block well. To stop it. If you stop the hacker M E, the charge, yeah. the ulti, yeah, the charge, mm. it, yeah. it greatly decreases his damage potential. Yeah, because yeah. So, see, he generates a lot of damage skill. from it eh, with the home guard. Yeah. yeah. I think top lane will be one of the matchups to look out for. If hacker gets going, it will. It will still be pretty difficult for Syndicate to For me, other than the lane, I actually have to push it for more of how they use their teleport. Yeah, true. But I mean, even then, Hecarim's gonna be looking to try and snowball out of the lane. Because he's bringing it yeah. right. Yeah, that's true. Well, Syndicate's running a 2 threat comp. When KS is running a 3 threat comp, uh. Yeah. Hecarim Jinx and no? Oriana. Hecarim Jinx Oriana. Well, Syndicate is running just LeBlanc and Saver, but they have really good deal. And then the. How do you see bot and going though? Right now, it's really good. Mm -hmm. How do you see going bot and going though with Saver Braum against Earth Jinx? Jinx should uh, Jinx should be able to poke down Saver, but um, what I see Saver doing here is uh, she's just gonna keep repeatedly shoving the lane in. Mm-hmm. Because um, as Saver, Saver versus Jinx, you can get poked down, so you don't want to you, you don't want to have to be CSing under the tower. So they're also gonna have to ward around bot lane because they can be easily gagged by the hacker and teleport if they don't. If they're gonna push out, then they don't ward. Okay, so right now we just have a short delay. Um, let's talk more about the matchups. Like, what about the junglers? What do you want to? What do you expect the junglers to do this game? Um, for me, uh, yeah. I think, although Sichuan is not a counter jumper, mm -hmm. I think he should punish Amomo. Because Amomo's really strong. He, he has the ult to control a team fight. But what makes Amomo not viable in the current meta, why he's not big, is like he's so easy to punish in the jungle. He's really weak in the jungle. Once, once, yeah, once you see him, you can you can you can gank, you can kill him in his own jungle. He has no escape. Unlike Sichuan, who is like. If you look at their ults, it's like pretty much the same. Not, not mm -hmm. uh, they they can control uh, top of team fight. Mm -hmm. But Sichuan has Sir Tash. He can she can easily get out of bad positions. Unlike Amomo, once you go in, you have to commit to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's no going back out. Not like um, and I think uh, Sichuan also has uh, more gas packs open to her because she can jump over the walls. Amomo can't do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Amumu will either have to get a flank or go through a lane gap. Okay. Amumu has to hit his, hit his ano, bandage his toss. Bandage toss. Or else the gap fails. That mm. that easy. But if he ma if Amumu want manages to do well and like show up in team fights, I think he's pretty good pick. Cause yeah, Amumu coupled with the. Uh, if he is able to get a good ult and then the Hecarim ulti together with the Oriana ulti, they yeah. they might be able to delete the Saver immediately if she's caught in that. The thing is, they have so much ults that need to hit the right target. Yeah. So in yeah. the clashes, they, they, they can't manage to miss a lot of ults. Because if you see at the uh, C Syndicate's composition, Mm -hmm. It's just severe hitting, at the, hitting from the back line while yeah. the black trying to insta, insta kill somebody. Unlike, unlike 1KS's composition, which relies on stacking ultimate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, but even if they stack ultimates, I mean, um, they, they have to hit the right person. Yeah, even if they hit the right person, there's still a chance for Silver to come out and get alive because Mao Kai can use his strength to shake off. 20% uh, damage. True. Yeah, blue team has really good peel. That's what they have that going for them to the guy in this. I I'd say that blue team has better peel, but mm -hmm. um, purple team has 
strong engage since technically Hecker and Amum was really hard to engage. They can um if Syndicate isn't able to control the warding in their jungle mm -hmm. and when KS is able to ward, they're probably gonna be looking to do a lot of home guard teleport engages with the hacker impact. So they, I, I, I they should be I worried about the flat from hacker impact. I can imagine the first fight we had at bot lane would be would be mm -hmm. one with a better teleport from either top laner. A summer has disconnected. And, and it's a double disconnect from Syndicate. Double disconnect from Syndicate. <laughs> Pretty good. It's very good. PLDC. PLDC. Are they using PLDC? I don't know, they said so in yeah. chat. Yeah, they are. <laughs> don't you miss those dial up days, though? Imagine playing that with dial up. And then someone pick up the phone. Yeah, I remember those days. The dial up days? I can still hear the sound. Yeah. Yeah, the days when you And. I DC every two minutes because someone up the phone. <laughs> I remember playing and having sake, to tell my way, parents. Hmm? For the stream's sake, I think we should stop calling Tessa and Rico and, like, and start calling them by their in game names or, or by their yeah. characters. Well, we're your champions at least. To follow. Yeah. So yeah. How do you pronounce their names? <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Right. Fair, I say, just call the champion. Good, good of you. Yeah. Champion. Just call the champion. Oriana, Woo Woo. I can, I, can, I, I can do Merlin and Lancelot. Guinevere. Arthur, Arthur. I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce. How do you say Spirit Hall? Now, Mumu. So we call Guinevere Mumu. Nami, Amu, Arthur, Mumu, and Oriana. I fear for the team's cooperation, you know, considering that Lancelot stole Arthur's girl. Ooh, Team Discord right there. We should just put up there. So, one weakness. Of purple size is based on lore. Based on, <laughs> lore. based on lore, Arthur up here in top lane is pretty jealous because. Uh, <laughs> the movie keeps going yeah. to bot lane, you know, Lancelot. Yeah. Expect bot lane to be camped. You guys gotta stop. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I know why one night stands ganks bot heavily. Yeah, Merlin is a bit sad because you know, since Arthur is his best friend. It's confident. Yeah, it's kind of stop. <laughs> Indeed. And what's with this Fearin Hall? He's not historically accurate. Yeah, Fearin Hall is nowhere in the Knights of the Round Table. Yeah. He's nowhere in Arthurian legend. Who is this scrub? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought he was the horse. I just assumed he was the oh. horse. <laughs> He's the oh, Fearin Hall, okay. Oh. <laughs> My steed, Fearin Hall. Is that how it goes? <laughs> Lancelot's such a strong person who gets the girl fighting the mummy and the fish in the form of a horse. So what's the order then? If there's not a horse. He is nowhere. Yeah, Arthur is also a horse. While the DC is going on, the players are taking the time to get to know each other through chat. Yep. Let's let's look at their dialogue for a bit. We may as well just see it. I won't give up on us. <laughs> There's introductions going on between both sides. Like uh they're becoming close friends. <laughs> so maybe, maybe they won't get a game. <laughs> maybe they will just shake hands. <laughs> maybe 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 it stops being a love triangle. Maybe maybe you know, Imperial comes in. <laughs> maybe, maybe there's war. Maybe this is what the game is for. Maybe Imperius is trying to get to the earth. To their side. Trying to get the only maybe girl. Maybe they all join forces to try and play the dragon or something. Hey, 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 hey. Here's Rico with a wonderful question. No. Virgin no, Bio. <laughs> We're, we're keeping it PG-13, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh... I'm Darius, God Merlin. Guess what's starting here is a B.O.M. Look, look at Merlin being the dirty old man, asking <laughs> kung virgin pa kayo. Ay, ako. Ay, ako. Do any of the viewers want to answer that? Hats are casters. Motus, are you still a virgin? <laughs> hey, hey, hot seat, hot seat! 
Oh wait, the guy, the guy is, the guy is, uh, the game is just shooting. Okay, guys. Ten seconds of the game, we can see red side having the 1k gold advantage over the blue side. Starting oh no. at 2.4k. Yeah, purple team has 1k advantage, uh, 100 gold advantage already. I mean 100. Sorry. What the biggest man? You can't math. It means <laughs> it seems them can't do math. <laughs> <laughs> Too much math. Math. Not as bad. No, pings going in for probably more than going to be placed. I don't need math in lol. What is math? Yeah. <laughs> don't need math in jungle. Oh, oh, oh. oh. We have some hope going on. So I'm surprised we just started queue. Mid laner. I'm surprised Rico started Q. I mean Oriana, because usually starting E against the Blanc is better, because you deny so much of the early game harass. 30 seconds into minions. But uh. He's trying to go on the offensive. Yeah, that means he's gonna try. To, he's yeah. gonna be the one to try and poke down. He's, he's, he's not he's trying to even, survive. He's not talking to Oriana, okay. Actually, he's. He's, he's running. From blue side. He's running Ignite on Oriana, actually, that's a bit confident. Oh, I'm. I'm actually surprised neither team are pulling the. Oh, there, there we go. That was like one second. Right? Night, I don't. Do you think Hikarim will do the early lag? From yes. how it's positioning, he's Minions not really. Fallen. I think he'll do the rate start. Same with Maokai. Wait, is Maokai doing it? He's stopping mm. yeah, yeah. doing the rates. Maokai is doing the. Yeah. Wait, Maura is not doing anything. What? He should be oh, doing the wait. level. He, he, no, no. Oh wait, he, he did. He did. Oh, oh he's. He got pretty good. Though. Okay, okay. He's gonna. So he's just uh, gonna take the small one. Oh wait, no, he gave. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He should have put another. Starts with ignite, so that's why he didn't do a comp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Start that spike. I don't get this though. Get what exactly? Um, giving um, the rates to the mid. No, no. I mean, why do you stay for the big one though? He'd have an advantage with the small one already though. Yeah, true. Yeah. Hit um, hit the back. yeah, the LeBlanc should have, the LeBlanc should have so stayed for the big the one. Yeah. LeBlanc misplayed it. You're only supposed to take the small one and then go straight to lane. The, the, the small one is actually a pretty good idea. Yeah, you only you only get the small ones because it'll help you get the level two faster. So by yeah. doing this, you lost mid lane. But now That's it's pretty relevant. That was a very bad. Yeah, and he gave oh. he gave he gave the Oriana enough time to so see actually. Yeah. And, yeah, and, he, and, he, and he totally disregarded his early advantage in terms of gold right yeah. there. Yeah. Not, not only that, um, from what he did in the big grade, he'll be prone to harass. He'll yeah. Be yeah, and he lost his passive during that. If you look at the items, um, the block doesn't have any potions left. Yeah, he. He, he really yeah. misplayed that early game. Receiving folk right there. Okay. Then he, then LeBlanc has yeah. to back now. Yeah, LeBlanc has to back. LeBlanc has to back. Although top though is winning in favor of Maokai. Surprising. LeBlanc is forced to Although there's out early. Bot lane, is, bot lane is playing exactly how I expected. Since is gonna look to just shove the lane. Because they don't want to get nice, poked nice down by the Jinx. Nice, nice attempt by 1KS. Bot, bot lane is, is expected. Although yeah. there's, an eight, there's a one way difference right now. Yeah, that's that's really how you're supposed to play the very yeah. nice matchup. Oh, that was nice. That was really nice. Four slash. And here, yeah, I, I was expecting the bot lane to be losing to the go for one KS. Yeah. But mid is um, doing well though, mm -hmm. because but pretty much because of the misplay of the LeBlanc. <laughs> Oriana with an eleven. Uh, 11 CS advantage at this point. Hmm. The, the difference is that you have a better back timer. Like, the, the bomb went for boost. Oh, the, the oh, Maokai misplayed. The first and the first wow. The Maokai misplayed. He overextended for that CS, that was not worth it. Didn't respect the first step. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Hegarin was running nice. Yeah, he, at that point you're supposed to just give up the CS and just farm with saplings. Just wait, because the wave was gonna reset pretty soon. So far sure. only bot is winning. Bot is winning pretty hard though. Yeah. 
And blue side is pinging the dragon. I think they're gonna attempt an early strike. That's pretty hard though, considering that mid lane is losing. They can though. Mid lane's not losing that badly, can. to be honest. Yeah. Uh, One thing to consider though is that red has no wards on the river, which, which blue mm -hmm. has a lot of ward coverage on. That's probably why yeah. they're pinging it. They actually can go for the dragon if they want to force it because they're shoving bot lane. It's a it's a risky call though. Yeah. It was a risky call because they didn't see where Amomo is staying. Mm -hmm. He could have done it because Amomo was back back, to, back out. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Rika's doing a really good job of zoning the black from PS right now. Uh, that was a good one. Tessa didn't catch it quick enough. Mm -hmm. And Sejuani trying to maybe harass him. Sejuani will harass him a little bit. Yeah. Oh, nice. Sorry. Nice. Some harass in mid lane. And top lane is just trading. But I like what Bot lane is doing though. Um, they're taking all advantages. Letting the lane push out a bit. Maokai should stop fighting the Hecarim in, in yes. the creep wave. <laughs> he should just let it push and then farm a tower. He can do that in a minute. Yes, exactly. With that, that misplay, he, he put he even went behind. Yeah. yeah. So Johnny rotating to gank top lane? Pretty good gang since the wave is yeah, that's a pretty, yeah, pretty good gang. Oh, and the horse gonna spot him. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, he could have gotten around. I know. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's, there's that was a, a kill. bad play from Hector. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. 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 He's dead. He should he's be dead. dead. That is a dead horse. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that was that was, that was that was really was close. Scary. No, they, I think I don't know, but. That's a bad because Ignite back is play. down, yeah. that's the reason that... That's a bad, that's a really bad back play. Oh, there's, um, there's a Mumu trying to pick up that kill. Oh, getting this. And he'll get that yeah. kill. Yeah. That, 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 that was overconfidence from the Maokai. Maokai should have walked back to tower to reach yeah. 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 He, he, he backed he out right on top of a ward. Yeah, yeah he didn't just... Like, he should have known it was more than... He was pushed in. Tessa got the kill that she shouldn't, she shouldn't have. She, sorry, she shouldn't have had. Mm -hmm. That was a now nice, to prevent that the was a nice attempt at but... preventing the recall. That's a good back time from Silver, though. Yes, a uh, back on Silver. I don't think Bra I don't think Brom is going back. Yes. Oh wait, no, the wave is coming. He, yeah, the wave should no, be. Uh, Bra Brom didn't have side. mana. That's why he chose to back off. Like. No, no, no. Um, I was thinking he should hold the wave, but uh, the creeps were getting there on time. So it's fine. Because <laughs> if the creeps pushed, Saber would have lost the wave. But so far, aside from mid lane, <laughs> mid lane spot, yes, that's the huge. Yes. Oriana's done a good job of maintaining her CS lead, but she's leaving her here to take a blue buff. Although it's expected it's for the Oriana to have a CS lead. Mm -hmm. This lane matchup. That's true. What important what she does with that CS lead? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so far, oh, the LeBlanc is still staying relevant enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But so far, the Juani making better than the base. Ooh, the Oriana. Oriana misplayed. Oriana misplayed. Yeah, and that's. Oh yeah, I got too confident. He overextended yeah. there. She just gave <laughs> up blue buff. Yeah, she just gave up blue buff. What 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 what's the CS lead when LeBlanc picked up the first kill? Yeah. That, yeah, at that point. Oh yeah, so Joan is back. And then she's, she's heavily back. And she she quickly makes up the CS difference anyway. Mm. Once again, bot lane is really pushed out. I'm almost should really got this. I'm I'm, I'm I'm a bit sur I'm a bit surprised that uh, um, when bot lane that uh, red side push mm -hmm. didn't try to gank it considering that the army flag was down. Yeah, true. <laughs> I thought that, I thought the reason why they're letting them push was that to let the to make sure um, that the army push now. Surprisingly contrary to contradiction, Amumu hasn't been making its presence really no. Actually, like, Amumu hasn't been helping has been bot, lane. In bot lane. Yeah. Rather, his gank has been more mid focus, which is what. 
That was a good drum the from. Guinevere has done a lot. Actually. That was a good drum from the block. Burns the yeah. ultimate and the flash of the. And the heels. And the heels. And the heels. Yeah. Heel. Very good. That's a huge ship. Which means bot lane was already losing. Now, yeah. Now he really can't do anything. That was a good trying. If if Syndicate was ballsy, they could actually dive this. Yeah. Jace is alone yep. here in lane. They know they can be really aggressive. Yeah. Wait, how the links are... are... Blue should be aggressive right now. So, yeah. Yeah. So, it's up to the... Ooh, I'll play a mid. I'll play a mid. And that's probably gonna happen with Mike right now. There's another. Yep. Nice. Nice. That was a nice yeah. dodge. That's a really nice dodge. Oh, that was a really nice old dodge from the... the yeah. Bug. Mid is getting outplayed really hard. Yeah. That was boss is dodging two of them. It's yeah. In the span of ten seconds. Ariana and Leblanc, we shouldn't be too aggressive because one has played. Uh, yeah. Uh, Leblanc can turn around the fight easily. Mm -hmm. I think the I think the ultimate from Ariana was because the, of the Mumu gas. Like he was. No, no, he. The he was it way too early trying yeah. to catch the uh, Leblanc. Leblanc, I'm oh, sorry. Um. Oh, that was a nice turn. So, um, that was a nice save by Momo. Yeah. The thing is, he's misplaying the Oriana LeBlanc matchup. Because that matchup is he just waits for the LeBlanc to make to make a mistake so, and then you go in. Mistake, yeah. Yeah. Um, you, you never you initiate work? the fight. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Top lane, yeah. Hegrim looks like he's going for Black Weaver. He, he Actually, is. He's going for Black Weaver. Is, is Black Weaver good on Hegrim right now? Um, it's not better than another. Because I would, I would still go Typhor. I would still go yeah. Typhor first. Yeah. Black Weaver's a good uh, second item. It's a good secondary not. damage item. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's a questionable build. Unless he's turning that. Actually, no, he should have just gone Spectre Scowl if that's what he wanted. And Ned oh, probably yeah, dead yeah. again. Ned is dead again. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, the Amumu oh. went for the wrong one. No, no, he wanted the 25 gold. That's, that's <laughs> ah, okay, it's okay, it's a, it's, a, it's a gold. Ooh, there's a Jinx rocket uh, going nowhere. But, What's happening? But, okay. Wait. But Blom trying to make Stop. a flank. Oh, uh, and they force the flash uh, on the force... and the ultimate out of the Nami. That's a Ooh, the Blom flashed that's, into that's the... A really good, that's a really good bubble. There's also a fight at top lane right now. Yeah. But then it's kind of, you know, tank versus uh, tank. There, there are Amumu trying to make it from the other side. There's a Gal so can... ultimate from Braum and that's the other side. Maokai dies, okay, Hecarim turns it and then we can go back bot lane. But they win the... Oh wait, no they don't. They get baited. Oh. They get baited by the Braum shield. That's a very... Wow, both ganks um, went... Top lane, there was a slight misplay from the Sejuani. Yeah. He could have he could have let go the ult a lot sooner to save yeah. the Maokai. Save the Maokai. The Hecarim outplayed them in that game. I think Amumu did not have enough mana in there to ultimate, which is what stopped him. In the, in the bot lane fight? Yeah, in the bot lane fight. Mm, no, she just used ultimate the bot. Oh wait, no, 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 that was so wrong. Yeah, it's up, it's up. She just, she just, she just opted not to ulti. She did not ulti, she didn't have enough yeah. mana to do it. Which is um, basically what allowed the server to just re-engage in there instead of... Guys, yeah, and you see, note, guys. you see the Ori is starting to fall really behind yeah. now. That's what I'm gonna say, um, he's now 0-3 from being heavily ahead in lane after a misplay from the from the down. The Jinx is also really behind for some reason. I... It's a Jinx 20, Nami... 19, yes. It's a Jinx Nami lane, you're supposed to be able to punish the server pick. Yeah. Um, so, looking at, looking at, I'm actually curious. Mm -hmm. Um, Jinx had enough money on her first back to buy a Bee of Sword outfront, but she chose to buy Pickaxe Avers. Questionable. Um, uh, she wants to go for the late game, but I yeah. think she needed the BF Sword to be honest. She needed it to be able to fight the shove. I really like server. what the LeBlanc. What the LeBlanc when doing? When I stand, I know AD Fairy player uh, does that a lot. They're trying to go for the dragon here. Yeah. The problem is that river is heavily warded by the yeah, side. But, but they, thought, but they, 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 they know there's no Sejuani, so yeah. they can do this. Should yeah, Brahm is here alone. Will they try to make a play on... No, 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 no they have to back out. Yeah. 
the LeBlanc is huge. Ooh, LeBlanc walked right into that. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, nice. What I'm curious oh, that was... The teleport was up from outside. And that teleport should have come up earlier. He saw their, his T5 team going yeah, in for that spot. Like that. Okay, that was a good bomb bolt. That was a good bomb bolt, and um, Down. someone feel for Siver, yeah. Yeah, someone feel for Siver, which is what we expected coming into this combination. Okay. Yeah, see that there, there's the tank line feel for Syndicate. Um, one thing to note: when the Siver back, she mm -hmm. back for an IP. Yeah. Uh, Jinx only has average, average and payout. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That is a huge damage discrepancy. Um, it's because the, uh, the AD carry player for um, One Night Stand prefers to get average blade in a lot of matchups, even though it's not that optimal. Yeah, true. Oh, he goes. It's, it's a, a bad habit. Oh, wow. it's, it's a really wow. greedy. That was yeah. almost an execute uh, with Jinx Robin, but not quite enough damage to take out. So, um, I take that I take that fight in favor of Syndicate because they got three for two with a tower. Definitely in favor of Syndicate. I honestly feel like the Maokai teleport could have come earlier. He already see the, saw that his team was coming in. They already saw that the dragon's coming up. The teleport came in too late. They could have Actually, the LeBlanc did get caught out of it. She got, she got come down and got caught the double. No, 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 but it was good because if you notice, Oriana ulted only the LeBlanc. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah, You're not... She, Oriana's she just trying to... Yeah, yeah, she's just trying to assassinate the LeBlanc. And in this case, once they zoned the LeBlanc out, he should have. He should have switched target to the team fight already. Because LeBlanc was already out of the team fight for that. Time. So Johnny had a really good ulti that fast though. She got like three, four people. And yeah. Oriana yeah. overcommitted to so, killing so, LeBlanc. Mm -hmm. So far, they're saving Grace. Those are top laner. Mm -hmm. But so then his, his build is pretty. The Hecarim, got the Hecarim build is pretty weird. Black Cleaver into what looks like a Sunfire Cape. Yeah, it's it's super offensive. No, it's, you should have honestly just gone Triforce. It's not optimal. Yeah. yeah. Wow, nice. Triforce into Shroud actually, since since it's a Sivir doing work. Spectre Skull, Triforce, sh Shroud. <laughs> that would be enough. The, the Sivir did so much damage to the, the Hecarim. Mm hmm, yeah. Because Hecarim has no one in it. Yeah. Better than I honestly think Hecarim will lack damage with this build. Late game, it comes, like, uh, he'll fall off a bit harder compared yeah. to a Triforce build. Yeah. And Maokai is pretty tanky right now. Maokai has Righteous Glory. That's, that's really good. They have Sivir, yeah, Sivir or. Several ult of Righteous Glory. glory. That's that's a a oh, there's, that's there's a great ult from Mumu. Yeah, yeah they're, 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 they're able to lock. Here. Ooh, that's a good to draw the ult, but too late. Oh, he re-engages? They were able to engage yeah. on the Sivir. Although, that was that was Sivir being caught out of position. Yeah. Where was the Maokai in that game? No, the Maokai the Ma was there. Can I just deep ward? Here, near the second tier turret. Beside the Raptor. Yeah. And so that left his, that red uh, purple team noticed that and they automatically engaged on it while Maokai was away, which was a large advantage on their team, given that it allowed some room for them to get into Sivir. Yeah. Because that's that, one yeah. other big body that's not. That, that, misplay, though. that was a Sivir misplaying. Yeah, that 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 was their that was their fight to actually lose, considering that they were pressuring with them pretty hard. Yeah, the pause. Again, this is what one KS needs. Types of yeah, the, those are the kind of team fights they need. Yeah, they were. If you saw, they stacked the Hecarim Amumu ulti in that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a good four-man ulti yeah. by Amumu. Yeah. Did Did Ariana use her ult or? Yeah, I think I, I know she did. She did. She did. But then it was very too late. Mm -hmm. Like the LeBlanc and the and the Silver were put the shot down from the Hecarim and Dorian. Oh, there's a request to the shoutcasters for the view the random shockwave. Okay. <laughs> Okay, can, we, can we replay right now? How many already? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm replaying it right now. Yeah, let's replay it right now. I'm replaying it right now. <laughs> okay, let's see how many well, he got I'm in the shockwave. Here we go. The there, the Sivir gets caught out. Here's the shockwave. Where was the shockwave? Did he self-ult? 
Did he self orb? Oh my god, he self orbed. <laughs> he missed the shockwave. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> they won. So they won team fights so without. So they won team fights without the shockwave. So that's big. I'm watching that again because it's so bad. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> That's what they call it being a sombrero, right? <laughs> Here we go, a selfie! <laughs> There's a selfie! Caught right on camera. Shout out to Rico! That but shockwave was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you should be ashamed. Okay. Um, Kyle, Kyle, can you make a gif? Can you get a gif out of that shockwave? Please. I don't want to make a gif. I think okay, I jumped to live can, right now. Why can't I, I jump live? Have the time later, when you upload it okay, there. Uh, the game is not on, on pause. Yeah. I jumped back to live now. This is pretty bad from... I'm gonna be exporting this video anyway, so we can yeah. get that clip and upload it. We can review it. I'm gonna upload it to the yeah. AdmuLol page, you because it was a wonderful... Event? Yeah, but it is, that, those are pretty low numbers. Right. So I don't think there's any big... So it's, it's mid turret and bot turret down. The thing here, that's the second tier turret. Uh, for two, first tier. The big thing there was Sever was there earlier than the Jinx was. Mm -hmm. But then, it's gonna be stalling it again. It's an alt down for Jinx now for this. Yeah. Time. Well, the Sever is relying too much on her spell shield. Yeah. She's positioning, like, she thinks she can block everything. She can only block one spell. They, 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 they're, they're not expecting this amount of engage. Mm hmm. Red team has right now. Especially, yeah. yeah even even with a spell shield, Silver should not yeah. be in a position even, to be engaged right now. Even with a bad, even with a bad build, the hacker is still bad. Mm -hmm. You have to take note that uh, speed control. The way the pushing for bot actually. Yeah. And the guy, guy is about to be up. So this is actually a weird siege there. Syndicate knows the says they're going bot now. I think that the red team is going to give the dragon Yeah, they, they should just give the dragon up and push stop. But there, there are things for mid lane, which I think is a, good, a better thing. They should push mid, they should just have like two I think they're trying to go for both. They're they should, they should have, yeah, they should only have, yeah, yeah, two. That's right. Honestly, it should have been the silver yeah. pushing, I think. Yeah. I don't want to be picked off. I think there's someone to be backing up for purple side, and that's going to be it. the Nami. Purple side can't win this base race. Yeah. Nami's not going to be able to defend that mid turret siege right now. They're going for the trade. This is a better trade for you know, This is a mid tower. Mm -hmm. They're throwing it. being able to Nami's do the they lost the trade really badly. Uh, that was a bad uh, trade. Yeah, there's, there's a there's free trade. You're on the good destroy. Oh, um, the all they should, kill, they should kill the Hecarim. Two kills, yeah. three kills. In total, for purple side. Okay, it, it, it could be an ace. That, that, oh. was a, that was a better ultimate there from Oriana. It actually but cost Finally, I'll yeah. <laughs> okay. About time. I just have to... Oh, that's a mystery. Oriana's finally landed the good shockwave after 22 yeah. minutes. <laughs> I'd have to chop this up as a misplay and save, I know, um, from the blue team. They should've just ran away. They tried to go for inhibitors. Yeah, that was purple team misplaying the rotation and then that was yeah. blue team overcommitting for inhibitors. They were okay though with power, they should've gone back there. If they, needed to, they, if they needed to, they could've used uh, silver ulti to run away. It yeah. would have been worth it. And they had Righteous Glory also. Uh, yeah. No, oh, no, I, no, I think it was yeah. done. But yeah, it would have been worth it to use the ulti to run if they needed it. Because they already got mid tower. Oh, and he for nothing. Maokai being spotted by the server. Although, look at the warding of 1KS. They have a yeah. lot of wards. Yes, they, they although, use the push advantage to get the wards Although, it's fairly so ineffective, to be honest. Because those wards don't really do anything. Yeah. Yes. But well, one thing to notice here is that when Syndicate won, oh, won their clash and pushed mid lane, they didn't take the advantage to ward in deep. Mm -hmm. Actually, it could have been a good call to go there's for a, Byron. There's a call for Byron right now. But then, there's a call for Byron. They can do it. They could actually... They could have rushed it, actually. Yeah, they could have rushed it. They didn't. 
take the chance to win. Although top top is really pushing now. You have to know that. Responding to the Malkai. So we get 2k, 2k. Um, it's 2k. Sorry, the. Okay, okay, okay. go deficit. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> you can math, man. You can math. Yeah. <laughs> it seems none of the casters can math. <laughs> <laughs> A revelation. At, at this point in the game, there's almost Listen, a 2k like, gold lead. Maokai is really out of position. Yeah, that, that, that makes this game off Baron. That's, oh, that's, 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 a, that's a Baron. That's a Baron. Yeah, that's a Baron. That's a Baron. Unless LeBlanc can make a godlike play right now. Especially since they know Sivir and Sejuani aren't there. That's, yeah. a, that's a Baron. Although it's still pretty... Um, they, they don't have the damage right There's now. There's a response from blue side. Oh, and that, that's gonna prevent them from taking Baron. Yeah. Actually. Where's Sejuani and Sivir? They're so low, they could have engaged them. Yeah. That is a great ult. Uh, it took forever to do that. And Sivir is yeah. in the middle. Why is he in the middle? Yeah, Sivir went in the middle. For the fight. Yeah. Maokai cancel TP. Cancel TP. Oh my god. Yeah. Yes, I, they can't do anything. That, that, that seems like a heavily misplayed by it. Heavily misplayed oh. by Syndicate. Syndicate, yeah. <laughs> Especially since they knew that their Maokai was down. So it was a 4v5. Yeah, but then, um, I understand the temptation because... Oh, because they were kind of no, dead. No, dead. But they underestimate the, the Amumu and the Hecarim. And how, how the Blanc is dead. Yeah, the Blanc is dead. The Hecarim is doing a lot of work this game. Mm. Hecarim is carrying. Yes, Hecarim is heavily carrying. Hecarim is what gets on both the Blanc and Sever. Mm -hmm. While... He's the he's the one guy that um the the Brom and Sejuani can deal properly without the Maokai. Because they have to actually at this him. point, all almost all roles except for the Hecarim are on par in terms of gold. Also, you have to take note there hasn't been a teleport home guard play from Hecarim yeah. this whole the game. The three K gold lead. 3 K of the gold lead from purple side is just Hecarim. It's reminiscent of the main game, can you? It's reminiscent of the main game. And with this build, the hex will fall off a bit sharper. But then the Jinx did manage to catch up to the... Um, to the... Sibir, sorry. The Jinx is going with a Bork. Hmm. Hex without a check. That's okay, I guess. Because... I'll take the triple tank. There's a yeah. triple tank right up, so Bork is okay, yeah. I suppose. But you have to, but you have to realize that. The block is dead. The block is dead. Oh wait, no. They got. They are able to. They able to start lock him though. The hacker will be committed there. Too quick a response on the blue side. That was a good response from blue. Yeah, that that that's the kind of build they could actually show if they actually play their team fights better. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That, you guys have to realize that Bork doesn't scale with crit though. That what? Bork doesn't scale with crit. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Compared to like Bork Thurster. Mm -hmm. But it's still, so, with it's still effective at taking down the tanks because the tanks in yeah. the tanks here are health stacking. Mm. So I feel like uh, um, DT would still be a better I, item and then you go for a last whisper. Yeah, I guess. Go for you to engage right True. now. Considering that. No, but I think um I think what Jinx is doing is she's buying self heal, cause she has no heal. Oh, that's true. That's true. She's going for self heal. Right now, I actually noticed that to make it bring a bit more lackluster in their wording compared to last year previous game. Yeah. Something that does work for Jinx here is that Hecarim is such a big threat that they have to focus some of their tank damage to healing the back line. Yeah. Hecarim can really heat up their carries faster mm -hmm. than um, the Hecarim is huge right the now. Then the block isn't able to get yeah. picks either. The huge being a big enough threat so that a lot of the damage, you know, 
Perfect. has a, goes away from J. And in, in that sense, it's, it becomes effective PL. Well, the Blount needs to be able to pick the Jinx. And what right now... Yeah. What the Mubu right does, however, is yeah. stay beside the carries, which which, which, which becomes the PL. With Orion and Jinx. And she's expecting the Blount to just double, double distortion in. To just turn, if that yeah, happens... Yeah, which is what they just did. <laughs> I think I think blue side should push, considering that they have one more outer tower. Mm -hmm. And they have mid control. They have that's one of the strongest. What's the timer on dragon? Like, what's the timer on dragon? Blue side should push top. Oh, I don't get it. Around four. Blue side should push top yeah. because bot is There's pushing them right now. I don't understand the call for mid push given that there's still a bot there at free yeah. for purple purple side. That, mm -hmm. um it's actually a bit of a sell from from the jinx that every time he she she ties she throws out her push. Like guys are gonna fight, chunk them down. That's a free tower from Mao yeah. to take. And they should really be taking that bot turret to get the control to get the bot in favor of that blue team right now. That was an easy capture to take for Malphite. So far, red side is losing in creep control. Honestly, they should push top right now while bot is also pushing and they're sending Oriana to wave clear it out. They should group. They should group with, they yeah. should shove they should shove mid past the river and then switch to top lane. That's what they should be doing right now. This is for blue side, yeah? Yeah, yes. for blue side. They should shove out they should shove out mid and then rotate top. Oh, oh I think they're play. making a, ba a baron call right now. They, did they see a Mumu recall?